Brownie wrote a poem. He composed this poem uh, in 1845 in his uh, collection. And this is a poem for Wordsworth. And the title of the poem was Lost Leader. He thought that it, he was lost leader and he did not follow what he used to follow. Wordsworth ke baare mein unhone kaha ki ab wo humare saath nahi rahe means there was tradition so we will be talking about that. From an early age Browning had been admirer of the early works of Wordsworth. Is cheez mein hume ye dhyan dena hai ki Wordsworth ke pehle admirer the theek hai unki prashansa karte the. As a baker <coughs> observes Browning had sought to become Wordsworth's radical successor and his attitude towards Wordsworth was a test model for a strong poet's quest for self-definition against the overbearing predecessor. Okay, let me tell you that here, Wordsworth's radical successor and his attitude towards Wordsworth was a test model for a strong poet's quest. You can see this line. Now, we have to see that he had a lot of praise for Wordsworth. He admired him a lot. And let's see the original text of the poem here. Okay, here is the... Uh, let me let me show you here yeah. lived here he says we that had loved him so so here he is writing about uh, you know why he is now lost and for uh, only petty things he has left according to browning browning ke anusar unhone kaha ki unhone choti cheezon ke liye hume chhod diya so here are the lines that we that had loved him so followed him honored him lived in his mild and magnificent eye learned his great language caught his clear accents made him our pattern to live to die okay shakespeare was of us milton was for us so here he admires him he says that we followed him but now he left us now let's talk about this and where he went after letting them uh, you know do their jobs and he left them here and his attitude towards Wordsworth was test model for a strong poet's quest for self-definition against an overbearing predecessor the poem's line we that had loved him so followed him honored him made him our pattern just told you right this however we began to perceive Wordsworth sliding into conservative politics he says uh, he writes this poem because he goes for uh, you know he slides into conservative politics conservative politics and the church of england he became increasingly disillusioned wordsworth in his early days had been a youthful rabble defended pain and rights of men and the french revolution we we know that now nah, he was in uh, france and he supported french revolution but later uh, he became uh, you know you can say hurt he got hurt and he came back being described by coleridge as a semi atheist now you can uh, see that coleridge coleridge uh, defined him as semi atheist you should also write down this one semi atheist coleridge says to Wordsworth, okay. So let's go through the poem, and uh, we will be having a great idea about what Browning was writing for Wordsworth, okay. After reading this, and by himself as a patriot of a world, of the world. However, as England went to war against France, the condition in France deteriorated. The reign of terror came to be, and. Uh, Robespierre was executed. Wordsworth became disillusioned and following Saudi and Coleridge gave up his revolutionary dreams and settled to his life of a recluse and then he became Lake Poet. He came to Lake District. So let's read the poem and uh, I hope you will enjoy this poem. Let's go ahead. This is from Wikipedia. You can also check out this uh, poem there if you want or you want to you know download pdf there just for a handful of silver he left us he left us just for a ribbon to stick 
in his court found the one gift of which fortune bereft us lost all the others she lets us devote they with the gold to give dolled him out silver so much was there who so little allowed how all our copper had gone for the service racks were they purple his heart had been proud we that had loved him so followed him honored him lived in his smile and magnificent eye learned his great language caught his clear accent made him our pattern to live and to die shakespeare was of us milton was for us burn shelley were with us they watch from their graves he alone breaks from the van and the free man he alone sings to the rare and slaves we shall march prospering not through his presence songs may inspire inspirit us not from his lyre deeds will be done while he boasts his cousins still bidding crouch whom the rest braid aspire blot out his name then record one lost soul more one task more declined one more footpath untrod one more devil's triumph and here you can see one more devil's triumph this is uh, i can say he has taken reference from his paradise lost uh milton's paradise lost okay and and sorrow for angels one or biblical reference you can call it one more devil's triumph and sorrow for angels one wrong more to man one more insult to god life's night begins let him never come back to us let him never come back to us there would be doubt hesitation and pain forced praise on our part the glimmer of twilight never glad confident morning again best fight on well for we taught him strike gallantly menace our heart are we master his own then let him receive the new knowledge and wait us pardoned in heaven and first by the throne thank you for watching bye bye take care hope you enjoyed good luck for you